Why are you but, surprising me with these questions? That's, I, you went to you went to this big convention called Gen Con. I figured you'd have the answer to that. I have all other types of uh, answers. I don't have an answer to that one. We're going to be playing first up Dungeons and Dragons Onslaught. All right, so give us the overview of Onslaught. Hey. And we got a special guest coming in. Woo! <laughs> He's been waiting for you. Right on time. What's up? Good job, Jay. How's it going? Jay from the UK. Jay from the UK. Jay from the UK. That's what we, we've been having, Jay from the UK. I have two Jays in there. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I messed it up. I have to fix that. <laughs> Don't worry, Steve. The name father's got you covered. Uh, it's double J. He says it is Nicholas Yu. Dang it, I'll have to fix it. Yeah, it's Nicholas Yu, Travis Severance, and Alex Davey. Oh, nice. Are the right. three designers. We're going to just play a couple of rounds of yeah, yeah, D&D yeah. Onslaught. This yeah. is a pre-production copy that we yep. got from our friends at WizKids, right? This is a preview kit. So although a lot of the components are final, like the character wheels that are in front of you, uh, in the final game... For instance, that the game board is going to be much larger. It's also going to be double-sided, and I believe you get two of them. So hmm. four different game boards, about three times the size of the one that's in front of you. Oh, um, wow. Also, in the, in the uh, re final release, there's a couple different changes. Um, probably the most notable one from what you're playing today, aside from the board, is the fact that your party is going to be six characters, not two. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. So you're going to have a control of a lot more people on the board. I was going to ask those more characters. See, really right. cool minis, the typical pre-painted minis. The, again, these are just pre-productions, all right, as far as you know? I, or are these a final? I wouldn't be surprised if these are basically what you were expecting okay. to get. Because WizKids minis, I mean, they're... They do minis all day long. Yeah, and they're good quality yeah. for what you're going to get. So and pre-painted too. To they're me. they're I mean pre-painted minis just in general just keep getting better and better. And you know, whiz kids, it's kind of at the forefront of that. So, um, so this is a skirmish game. It's two players. The uh, original release, uh, stuff in here. okay, which is quarter one of 2023, is going to include Harpers and Zentarum, which is what you guys are playing. That's two of the factions in the D and D atmosphere. Okay, uh, but there's. Quite a few this more. This doesn't sound like Greyhawk at all. No. Oh, this, okay. is, this is Faerun. This is Forgotten Realms. Okay. Um, so there's there's the Emerald Enclave. There's a couple other factions. They're going to be releasing faction boxes and monster boxes and things like that. But the initial uh, launch is Zentarum versus Harpers. Uh, Can I play Faffer or the Grey Mouser? What's that? Can I play Faffer or the Grey Mouser? No, no. You can't do any of those Dang. things. All right. Jared is playing <clears throat> as a Zentarum, which are kind of... If there is an evil faction, they're the evil faction. They're kind of the black market guys. Okay. Uh, a lot of rogues and tricksters. And then uh, BJ's playing as the Harpers. The Harpers are kind of the diplomats and the spies. They are the um, the eyes and ears oh. all over Forgotten Realms. Okay. Yeah, I really like these minis, though. Can these switch okay. positions? Does it matter which one's no. on which one? Put them wherever you want them. <laughs> so, yeah, so the game has already been set up. You, each player has two characters. And then there are two goblin, basically, NPCs. <clears throat> so instead of it being just a head-on one-versus-one game, it's a, a game where you are also competing against the environment. Okay. And obviously the environment can include things like uh, giants and dragons and all kinds of fun things, not just goblins. Lankmar for the win. I appreciate it, Steve. That's, that's before Brownie's time, though, so... <clears throat> All right, uh, I've so got this, a cheat sheet here. For yep. you. Oh, you have one. Too. They both have a cheat sheet. Uh, Jared's actually going to go first. We rolled before we started. I did not find out um, what these tokens are for. So they are to designate your abilities. Both okay. of your characters have abilities. Okay. Yeah, they have abilities that you're going to need to track, basically. Right. Yeah, let's play a couple rounds and see what we think. Right. So Jared's going to go first. Jared uh, has a character that he's already assigned initiative one to, so that character is going to go first. And he has three actions he can take on his turn. He can take a standard action, a move action, and a bonus action. He can do those in any order that he wants, and he can also trade them down in strength. So he yeah. can, instead of doing a standard action, he could do two move actions and a bonus action. Or um, he could do three bonus actions if he wanted to. It just depends on what he chooses to do. Yeah. And your character board tells you what your character's speed is, what their armor is, what their health is. All of that is on your character board. So go ahead and uh, do your first move, whatever you feel like doing. Um, mm -hmm. There's basically two win conditions to the game. We're going to play six rounds. If nobody has been utterly defeated after six rounds, uh, then the game will be over and we'll go to victory points. The other way to win is just to kill both of your opponent's players because there's no respawn for players. That's what we do in Memoir 44. Right. We just go right after each other. Bonus right? action is pick up a chest, but you have to be adjacent or Correct. do you have to be on it? So I can pick up this chest right here? Yes. Okay. Wait, I thought you that was only for loot. 
So uh, loot is a free action to pick oh, up. Oh, free action. Yeah, you're Chests right. Chests are okay. a bonus okay. action. Yeah. Okay. So if and I the uh, chest loot is in the bag. So if you Ooh. will shake up the bag yeah. and have uh, Jared and Jay to pick it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah Jay can pick it out. Uh, Jay is uh, Vanna White in this, uh, is, yeah. in this mm -hmm. experience. Let's what is see it. It is, a, it is a potion. Oh, potion. Potion. So potion. let's see what. Your favorite character in. Uh, you found a healing potion. Perfect. The potion's perfect. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I, basically what it says is as a bonus no, action, yeah. you can use this. It's consumable, so it goes away after you mm -hmm. use it, and you heal three points of damage. Perfect. There you are. Does it, and this isn't like for the team. It has to specifically. That is specifically for that character. Stop. Also, if that character gets defeated and you haven't used it, it drops, it drops to the ground. Oh, yeah. Okay. It drops. All right. So uh, good does this reset? Nope. nope. Okay. There are only four are there items. More? Oh, there are only four items? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so then for my standard action, I'm going to do the Eldritch Blast. Um, Steve says, feels like D&D Unmatched, but there's also the PvE. Yeah, right. I'll do the Eldritch Blast. Oh, yeah. It's a two two to five, <laughs> plus four to hit on this guy right here. So, okay. And he's got 15 defense. Is that what the goblins say? Uh, is that, is that yep. top right corner? Yep, 15. 15? Okay. okay. So, so let me just quickly explain uh, range to melee combat. Melee combat is pretty straightforward, mm -hmm. right? Range combat, uh, your card will say what the range is. So, uh, BJ, if you want to look at your green guy, because your red guy doesn't yeah, actually have a ranged okay. attack. His range is 2 to 5, which means he can't actually use a ranged attack on somebody who's adjacent to him. Line of sight is basically just you have to be able to draw a line from any corner, any part of your square to any part of their square without going through something. Okay. Um, things that you cannot shoot through are like other players. Also, the chair, the four spots of the chair in the center of the board are considered uh, impassable terrain. You can't shoot the chair. Mm -hmm. okay. And the dragon statues are all little L-shaped, um, difficult terrain. Oh, so that was a good move for you moving out so now you can get to yeah. the goblin. Yeah. So you can't walk through those spaces and you can't shoot through those spaces. No, you can't just like walk and I can't shoot walk me in the face. Right. You can walk. Yeah, my range is two to six, I know, so I could gonna... have gotten to you. You can walk through allies, uh, okay. but not enemies. Yeah, okay. that makes sense. Okay. No, we're so, not doing, we don't have to do to hit against uh, armor class zero or anything like that, no. is it? Okay. No. no complicated stuff? Nope. Okay. So you're going to roll 2d20. So you got basically advantage on most things. 13 plus, your plus to, hit. to hit is 4, so 17, which hits. 17? And how Where much damage do you do? Hit? Two. Where's the 2 okay. on there? Huh? Where did you see that to hit number? Right there. Plus four to hit. Okay, got it. So it should be. So you guys hit now. Two points of damage to the goblin, which is yeah. not kill it. So two. if you want to put two uh, damage tokens nearby him. Okay. This, this is, is light really dancer. small. Yeah, but this is really small Perfect. type for somebody okay. with my uh, eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when are the goblins? Go? They always go last. You, you okay, they always go last. <laughs> got it. Oh. So it's hard for me to read. This. In the full release of the game, in this release of the game, uh, player initiative is just one, two, three, four, and then the goblins are ten and a half. In the full release of the game. The monster initiatives are going to be halves of every number. That's so cool. they may be 1.5 or 4.5. Right, that's cool. Which means they're going to be going in between players. Yeah, I like that. All right, so Lightning Dancer takes a turn, and uh, I, I can... Uh, Standard move and bonus. Yep. Yeah. Or two moves and a bonus, or... A I definitely want to I want to hit this guy. So where, where do I find my movement here? There'll it should be, be... Four? Yep. That's one, two, three, not them. Oh, sorry. Hey, look at that. One, two, Somebody's three, sneaking four. in to say hello. Nope. Yeah, so you are standing on the statue again. when you're in there. Oh, that's right. Okay. One, two, three, four. There you go. He can't even get to him, though. Well, Shame. One, two, three. How's not that? Agile. Okay. Enough. And then I'll pick up the loop. Okay. So if you want to, uh, Vanna. Ooh. Oh, oh, draw right, token, please. All right, hey, all Olympia. Right. What's up? Yeah. I got to hang out with him pretty much every day at Gen Con. He's the freaking best. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. BJ, you got a sword handle it's broken so i don't know if it actually mm, does that mean. is terrible mm. bj has that's found the flame tongue yes. oh yeah that's the one shot that sounds pretty good so right? you're a lightning dancer with the flame tongue yes mm -hmm. which is particularly strong with him because oh. uh he is the sword user oh good Perfect. so the flame tongue does have a special rule which i've already explained to them but i'll go ahead and explain for the audience uh if he attacks a goblin with the flame tongue the goblin just immediately dies but the flame tongue also burns you in the process Ooh. dealing you a point of damage and you drop it that's oh. uh, nasty. But if you end the game with it equipped to one of your characters, it's worth three additional victory points. How okay. Server damage reduce the time. Do I have any more actions? Of, of you used a move right. and you used a bonus. Right. So you do technically have your standard, which you could use as another move or another That's bonus. Cool. Okay. I don't want to get in range because he's going to pop. Very cool. Oh. So now keep in mind, in. keep in mind two things. One, he has already moved that character. That character will not move again. And two, next turn, you will automatically get the first initiative card. Oh, Because okay. he was first this round. Okay, so I can go there then. 
So I get another four movement? Yep. One, two, three, four. And just pop him next time. Okay. Well, I was I was referring to Jared. The goblin will move oh, this round. This guy. Okay, I thought you were talking about Yeah, but I'm so far away from him, bro. You don't want to engage. Well, but you have a flame tongue. <laughs> yeah, but that's that's against the goblins though. Does it do anything special against regular characters? It hits real hard. Yeah. <laughs> I'm close enough now. All right. Not smart. All right. So who's got the three? Me. Uh, All right. Those yeah. the three is what? Who is that? Uh, yes, the guy Steve, we can't pronounce. Automatic yeah. twenty-four point font for anyone who okay. plays D&D. <laughs> I totally agree with that. I don't want to be the closest. But I am. Bradley's sort of being the DM for us. So. I'm the I'm a forever DM. So yeah. he's going to give us some backstory. It. I'm right? used to it. For some of these people, I like it. So, so, so Jay, I, I saw that you were posting, but where where, where were you seeing Olivia? Was he? Was Oh there, my gosh! Uh, so okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. He got there the same day I did. So if I hit like your Tuesday guy here Wednesday. with firebolt, and we just hung mm-hmm. out the whole time. Okay, so I'm gonna shoot him. Okay. His sword guy with firebolt. So roll your two d twenty. What and is your bonus? It's plus five. To hit. But I'm thinking I might go fire. And my ball armor is sixteen. Instead of firebolt. What is that? Sixteen, right? Yes. Yeah, so six okay. to hit. It does the same amount of damage. My What's the difference? I guess it's just easier hit. Okay, I'm gonna go firebolt. So okay. fireball is a first of all, it has a, I a believe it, I believe it has yeah. a larger recharge time. Can you hit me from that far away? I mean, it does. Fireball doesn't have a recharge right. time. That's the yeah. fireball has a five turn recharge time. Yeah, but um, a lot of stuff. Every time he takes damage, he reduces the time. If he crits, he reduces time. There's a lot of ways of reducing time. So and fireball is basically a air and effect attack. Then the way it works is that you're gonna choose a space range two to five, and then it's going to hit that space and every other space around it. Yeah. So all nine, what would it be? No, I'm sorry. Eight, eight spaces, spaces around it. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go with just Firebolt. Firebolt. Okay, like and done. I rolled terrible. 14, which I'm assuming is not your defense. Minus no. 16. Yeah. No. So he messaged you. Okay, so I don't even have to roll right Nothing happened. All right. So now uh, that was your move and your standard, I believe. Are these like a one-time use thing? These cards? They should be uh, your These abilities. These are powers, right? Yeah. These are your abilities. Those are your abilities, I believe. No, they're like traits. Dark one's luck, dark one's blessing. What? Mine are like traits that I, that I use. If I use this kind of, if I use a, uh, the lightning dancer, the long sword, it does something. Okay. So I'm going to flip my initiative. He gets one XP Jay after gets... ending activation. Does it, are we worrying about that right now? Oh, that's right. You don't start with those cards. My bad. Okay. Those little cards you don't start. I haven't used them yet. When you gain experience during a scenario, okay. you, you there's an actual experience that makes wheel. Sense. And when you get five, you get to pick one of the cards. That makes sense. Oh, okay. Have so you I got one. Tactics? Okay. Yeah. You got one. I have okay. not. The one that no. Carla left for us is yeah. the same designer, Nicholas Hugh. Oh, okay. Yeah. What are you doing? Uh, doing here, I've got uh, Grapple Shanks is his name, the ranger. Yes. Mm-hmm. Grapple Shanks. The Goblin Ranger. Any ideas, Jay? Where am I going? Uh, towards the enemy. I can, I can get this. Yeah. Or I can. Uh, one, two. Let's see. What's his movement? Four. So I can oh. pop him. Oh, right. Get that's, that's, also, that's the NPC, right? You, yeah. Your first guy performed an attack mm-hmm. that hit a target. Mm-hmm. So he got an experience for that. Oh, sweet. Also, he looted a chest. He got an experience for that. Oh, sweet. BJ, your uh, sword dancer looted a chest. So he got an experience for that. Great. Hey. Where, do, where do you do the experience? Here? There should be a yeah, wheel on the it. left. Yeah. Who just hey, joined us? Melissa J. 1516, I think it was. Where do you see that? Oh, it's right it. on the screen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Need to fix that. Thanks for checking in. Well, Thank the you. Pot. All right. Jason Twitch at first. Yeah. What you got? Yeah. Have my job, man. Associates to Green. Can job. So I do have a, a, a range of. Uh, so that is not you. That's not you. Sorry. That's I do have a range of two to six. Yeah, I can hit it. But would that include being here? Yeah. So I can come here, grab the chest, and still attack. Sure. All right. Yeah. Go One, two, it. three, four. Okay. I'll do this, Jay. Right. Go ahead and uh, get your experience. Now that we're remembering to do it. One point for that. Looting a chest gives you an experience. Oh, you got armor. You it's got just armor. the top half, though, so your bottom mm-hmm. is not protected. You found uh, armor of oh. kind, which means that enemies cannot take reactions after your moves. Nice. So oh, so I attack opportunities. You happen if you move out of space. If your character sheet says you can do it, you can okay. do it. No, I meant enemies automatically get it if no. you move out of their space. It, yeah. have, it would have to stay on their card. Okay. 
Any so, pitches you can talk about, Jay? Yeah, no, no major pitches, Steve, uh, that I remember. You're I tired? might have been yep. pitching and not knowing it. I, I know I've talked about that happened Ooh, before, but that's a big uh, old miss. Nothing that's big a, to 62. announce. Sixty-two. It's a big old miss. <laughs> it's a sixty-two. Yeah, he said so, that's a miss. You have to now really go high with that. Now <laughs> the goblins go. So why don't you hand me the goblin card? Okay. Now we'll, I will be proper DM and actually do the goblins. Yeah, you you got to do a go. voice, though. The goblin. What's your goblin voice? No. Okay. no. <laughs> I don't do voices, Jay. I'm not that oh, kind of DM. Man. Okay. So the goblin, uh, let's move the one closest to BJ, is going to step right in front of his goblin kin who just tried to shoot him. Wait, he went diagonal. Doesn't matter. He has okay. multiple He's moves. He's got three movement. <laughs> there was uh, apparently a disagreement between these two goblins. Uh, enemy at range one. Somebody oh, you know what? Somebody didn't pay the utility bill. Automatically hits. Automatic I don't even have hit. to roll. What? Dang. I don't even have to roll. Well, that's he said. that could have been useful information. Yeah. All right, take How a much point of damage? damage. How much? One point. Oh, and I'm down to easy peasy. Oh, okay. no, it's gobble shanks, gravel shanks, gravel shanks. I'm liking down these, these double. Well, okay. it affects player, your. Player, so he goes. Potentially could affect your movement and your defense. So he's going to stay there. Oh, okay. Because. I like what he would like to do is move uh, to your guy, but then that would put him in between three people, and that seems scary to him. So instead, he's just going to shoot you with his short bow. Also doesn't have to roll. Automatically hits for one day. Oh, I could have done a double shot. Uh, he can't hit this guy, so I'm assuming this guy? Yeah, well, that's the guy who hit him, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They're counterattacking. What yeah, is the double right. shot? Uh, let me see. Do, do, do. So as a bonus action... You uh, make an attack, a yep. standard action attack. I couldn't do it this time because I used my bonus action to do the attack. So you I... used your bonus action to loot the chest. Oh, I thought that was my standard action. No, nope. standard action was the attack. I moved, looted, and... Oh, yeah, because you can't do it the opposite way. So basically, you can attack twice in a turn with this. Got it. But it's got a five-turn recharge. Then I lose the check mark. Right. <clears throat> How does initiative work? Do... So initiative is give him the one because he immediately gets it. You were first last time, he immediately becomes first. You now have to assign it to the character you want to put it on. Before you see your one? next card. No. Before you see your oh, next card. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm. Uh, yep. And then you just shuffle and give him one. And those two go face down. Or those three. Your one well, you can go with both of my cards. The one you can go yeah. and put up. I do. Everybody knows where you put that. Yep. Okay. Oof. I know what you got there. And it's not good. Yeah. <laughs> it's not good. We'll see. All right. Gonna try to flame flame tongue you here. So yeah, it's okay. one, two. Yep. Three. Can I still attack no. there? Four. Orthogonally only. Okay. Diagonally works on range, but not on melee. And then I'm gonna flame tongue. Okay. One enemy at target. One. Six plus six to hit though. Okay. And a plus two critical. So if I hit a twenty. If you get a critical, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what I got here. Yes, oh, two to one. No. no, it's a one and a wow. two, Steve. Oh, okay. no. no, it's an eight. It's an eight. It's an automatic eight. miss. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Ooh, no. Because uh, that one means something. That's a critical. I just got to find that. That means you injure yourself. Well, he tripped and he falls on his sword. <laughs> That's what happens. <laughs> if, you roll a number, if you roll a natural one without rolling a 20 on the other die, <laughs> you get a critical failure. Oh, dum, yeah, dum, a critical dum. failure. You trip and fall, man. You lose your so on a fumble chart with the one. Even if the other <laughs> die was a hit, yeah. you would still fail. Oh, man. Okay. So that meant, so now when you're rolling two dice, it's great because you can take the higher, but you have oh, two chances of hitting chances a one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Once if you double oh. fail. So that was a move in a standard. Die. <laughs> it's like dying. Where are my bonus actions again? <laughs> it's either something on your <laughs> dial or like looting a chest. This is, is a <clears throat> kind of the uh, default standard move. action. Unless you have something on your dial that says as a bonus I action. I can charge, I can move, and then make a... Attack for a bonus. I don't know if these are bonuses. It says B. Oh, it says B. It's like in that little. You so this is triangle? standard. Okay. Your charge is a standard. Your challenge is a bonus action. What's the challenge? Challenge is you choose an enemy that's range one to three. Mm -hmm. You move the target adjacent to you, mm -hmm. and basically that's it. Oh, okay. So you can force somebody to come into range with you to fight you because you're a mm. fighter. I will uh, point out for your benefit, Jared, that mm -hmm. this character does have combat reflexes. Which means that if that adjacent person moves, moves and is no longer adjacent, he gets a free attack. That's cool. Same know. thing I can do if I... I'm not going to move. Oh, man. I'm not moving. Okay, my turn? It is number two. Yes. Okay, so for my bonus, bonus action, actions? I'll That's curse it. you. Two things? That's it. Okay. My bonus action, I'll curse you. Fun. Yeah. 
It is going to be fun. I'm rooting on. I got my money on Jared. Just and so then the chat now. I'm going to Blood Pact. Such a so that is a move. range one attack mm -hmm. with an axe and a plus mm -hmm. five. Can I get that? Dice. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead. Oh, you need both a standard and a bonus. That's. Oh, I can use my move as a bonus, right? Okay. So if I use a standard and a bonus, I can actually do strike with a melee. So it adds the blood pack is now a plus eight and good. a three damage attack. So there's a lot of words there. That's not very good. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Jared just activated ability. One of the cool things about this game is the, the character boards have all these different wheels on them. And yeah. when you activate an ability, you roll the wheel, and that actually tells you how many turns you have left to activate uh, before neat? your ability it's, is activated. It's got, it's got a little waiting thing. So as okay, you go, so this is a plus eight you, with a three damage. Okay. You know, I, I'll do it this way right and here. And I roll. Mm, it tells me I got five mm, turns to take before I get defense? back. I think it's sixteen. Do you have so some meter or C, options. right? Yeah. BJ, what's the defense? What's your defense on, your on that guy? It's sixteen. Yeah. <laughs> I rolled an eight. So. It's yeah, but wait. Did you roll a d twenty? Because I got a plus two against d twenties. No. Okay, um, so that's three damage. That's three damage. Oh, okay. three damage. So you just roll your health wheel down three spots. What do I do with this? It's your it cursed. just stays. It stays on there because you're still cursed. And then I will also activate my other guy. Who's so there? your wheel, your health wheel on your your character board, not only tracks your health, but as your health decreases, your other stats may be altered. Yeah. Okay. So that's as rough. you get weaker, your armor may go up. They may go down. Different characters react differently to getting hit. So I'm gonna go one, but in the two, movies, three. In the last. Closing minutes of the. And I'm gonna burning movie. hands you. They actually do these heroic things because mm -hmm. of the adrenaline. You know. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna hit you with burning adrenaline. hands. Yeah. Okay, so. What is he doing? I'm hitting with burning hands. Okay, burning hands will only hit the. Burning um, hands. So I get five because I successfully hit, and then at the end of my, and end of my activation, I get a thing. Uh, so all right, right, Steve. It's burning, burning hands. Okay. It's burning so you hands. leveled up. Yeah. Okay, so let's uh, do level up real quick. Um, do, do, do. I think that's how they would say it in Boston or New York, right? Boiling, boiling hands. So your character gained a level. Choose one of their level up cards and place it face up near their character card. Ah. You now have access to that ability and can use it immediately if you choose to. Mm. Some level up cards also have the exhausted symbol, which is the circle and the X in it, which means that it can only be used once per scenario. Okay. No, this doesn't. You can only level up once per scenario. Okay, so cool. you cannot get your second one. All right, so burning hands, standard action, plus seven. And I hit you for a 21. Oh. So that's three more damage. Those hands boying wicked hot. Yeah. <laughs> how much health do you have, Mark? <laughs> Man, how much? You had how much? You started with 14 health. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's it. Oh my gosh. The sword dancer is the tanky character. How many did you do? Welcome to board game gumbo, where BJ three. gets his butt kicked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So BJ is actually using that character correctly, uh -huh. mistakenly, but he is using oh, it correctly. Absolutely mistaken. <laughs> because that character is the hit point sponge. Okay. Also, when that character gets bloodied, which do? he isn't yet, uh -huh. she actually gets better. Did you okay. Points? Three points of damage. Uh, and and you're up. at the same time, uh, Jared's characters have like eight and ten health. Like yeah, they're super weak. Oh, comparatively, okay. not even close. I'm just trying to smash him real quick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But they do do a lot of melee damage, surprisingly yeah. enough. So, and you did roll your wheel for the burning hands, so it's on reset. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, Grapple Shanks is still going to try to hit this guy. Is he? Yeah. Your your companion is screaming in pain. I know. God. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I could get there, but it's oh, could I shoot her from here? No. Because you would have him? to shoot through the door. Uh, through, you could shoot the other guy. Ah, oh, it's chairs in the way. Could I use two moves to get there? Yes, you can. And then a double shot as an attack? No, because no, your second a... move would have to use your standard action. What does Mark do? It says after the bearer of Marked is dead, you have refresh to... the Mark. What so it, it, it should that? tell you. It's a bonus ability, right? Yep. And it says when. What do these symbols mean? Uh, what aim range say after the bearer is marked? I'm assuming Mark says there's a little symbol right there. Where's that little symbol? It doesn't really say. Well, your, your divine. Oh, the ability is divine. I don't know. Oh, does it? Okay. Yeah. It has all the symbology on the back. Uh, Whoa, man. Yeah. All it says is divine, though. Here. I don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah, the barbarian can rage. Let's do this. Come on, man. As a bonus really action, high. you choose an enemy that's range 1 to 3 to gain the marked ability. Yep. That's all it says. So I can mark this one, and then what does it do? What, why do I want to mark them? Usually mark is like plus two to hit or something. It has like all that. those little tiny symbols there. It just says divine. 
Unless it has to that's do with these things. Unless it has to do with these things. Usually Mark is like plus two to hit, so I'm assuming that's no, what it is. Yeah, it okay. should be. It but should it's say a plus two to hit or like plus one to damage or something like that. Mark must be um, something in the... Um, let me see that cheat sheet. Yep. But it's a bonus action anyway, so... It doesn't say. What do you got? I don't I don't think I can get to, yeah, to help in my person. Hold on, I'll yeah. find it. I'm going to take out the gun. It's got to be in here. Yeah. It's probably a smart idea. Yeah. No, it's yeah. not. You really don't want to come in. Uh, oh, he actually got a good roll. When Mark, yeah, he, only has 15 health. he adds You're one dead. to the damage of each of his attacks against that Mark character. Okay, so is that either okay. two to attack or one to damage. So He's 15, uh, how many points does that do? You get a plus five, so yeah, you get two six. damage. It's plus five to hit. Plus five to hit, two damage, so you hit a 20. But not a natural 20. So. Yeah. So, so you did two damage. Two damage. Two damage. How much does the goblin have? Four. Four. Okay. So and then I could. Uh, there you go. And that's it. So that's my bonus gauntlet. action can't be an attack. Nope. Nope. Not unless you have something that says you can use a bonus action as an attack. Nope. All right. That's all I. Uh, he is a ranger, so that makes sense. Hunter's mark as a ranger spell. Mm. I could mark him, right? Yes, you could. Yeah. You probably should have done that before you attacked him, but you know it wouldn't really help. Yeah, I'll mark him then. How do I do that? Put that. So you going, well, it doesn't really matter because the dial just uh, tells you it's in effect. But yeah, just put the token next to him. Okay. All right. Then we, goblins go? Goblins will go. So Yeah, this is, ju this is just, this one says it comes right back as soon as he dies. So. Right. Okay. So uh, the goblin nearest uh, gravel shanks? Yep. Will hit, it, hit him for one in melee? All right. And the goblin closest uh, to the warlock that hit him already will hit him again for another one. Great. Okay. And then give the one card to Jared, and then shuffle up the rest. The rest. I feel like that wasn't a great turn for me, Jared. Nah. Uh, I, don't know. I, don't I, I feel as if uh, Gravel Shanks is letting the party down. I think I'm gonna go first. The other is... guy is screaming in pain, and the goblin's like, "Should I mark this <laughs> guy? <you think? laughs> Should I be using my abilities?" Okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit his mark, a ranger spell. Yeah, I'm going to hit him. And I'm going to use my, because I don't want to leave, so I'll just use my, I'll just go dagger. Let's swing a dagger. You want to? Uh, that's a start. 17. Can we get the game? We'll that's 17 hit. total hits him. Uh, two on. more damage. Shoot up. Plan it on now. Yeah. Two more damage. Okay, to gobble shanks? Or yeah, to your guy. Yeah. I'm not even near your other guy. That's no good. Now I'm losing, um... I am stronger though in defense. You are stronger. And so this goes down to four? It goes down one? Yeah. Now it's an eight. Is it the beginning of your turn or the end of your turn? End. End of your turn. Got it. Now okay. I'm an 18 to hit. Bob. And that's a plus one to experience? Yes. Got it. Okay. You're up. All right. Lightning Dancer is going to smack. Who's your weaker one in hit points? There. He's got eight, but he has plus three defense. This one? Yeah. No, this guy has plus three defense. This guy has more health. Okay. I'll go with the, uh, that one. What are you swinging? Oh, man. Yeah, because you have two weapons now. Does every time you use the flame sword, does it damage to him? No, only when he uses it to feed a goblin. Oh, okay. Mm. Lame. Steve, they're going pretty well. Uh, I got to six play a to bunch hit of and games. three damage and a critical. I'm going to take the flamethrower. Flametongue. Let's see it. Flamethrower. <laughs> That's what you need. Oh my gosh! Oh, I see no. a one. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no! Oh, good, Steve. I keep rolling these 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 up and down numbers. Is there a DD character numbers. that actually thrives on ones? Like, is there a reverse character that is? Just... No, there there are characters that like have the opportunity to re-roll ones. Okay. Mostly halflings. Don't okay. bards do stuff like that too? They can give people the chance to do re-rolls. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There are, there are ways around it, but it's not usually as dramatic as this. I mean, so know. if I run, he's going to hit me, though. Right? Yes. He has that ability? Yes, I do. Yes, yeah. you will. Wow. You should totally run away, dude. No, I'm going to stick it out. <laughs> I'm stick it out. All right, you're up. <laughs> no, it's me. Yeah, it's you again. Uh, Grapple Shanks is going to go after this marked man right here. Right. Mm -hmm. Roll number one. What could me, possibly please? go wrong? Should be a one there. No, oh, look, you 14. got him. 14. Plus five, 14. that's a 19. Okay. Sweet damage. Yeah. You got him. You killed damage. him. Okay, good. Sweet. You didn't give him a XP last turn for doing damage. Do it. You get it every time you do damage? Every yeah. time you do damage. It says so after you XP. defeat an enemy character. Well, you get a bonus one after you defeat an enemy character. But, but you always damage. get one when you do yeah. damage. So if you attack something that hits, you get a point. Oh, I didn't you get experience. Okay. Yeah. All right. 
Uh, so these are gone? Right, and you can pull that goblin off the board, although he <coughs> will respawn at the end of the round. Okay. And that was your standard action. Yep. I could take my move to get to here, right? Uh, One, two, three. Oh, can't quite get there. What? I don't know what your movement is, so, yeah. Yeah, movement is four, I think. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's cool. And then my bonus action is one to three. Ah, oh, just two. Not one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to mark him. Okay, so give him the token. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, Steve, I got a bunch of plates in with uh, some you of my right co-workers, a couple other there too, doesn't matter. different people at the con. Yeah, okay, um, yeah, that's why it's there. All right. Yeah, games are looking my turn. Uh, if yep. he is done, what are you doing with that? It shows that he's a uh, poison or whatever it is, cursed. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. Sorry. No, just keep it on your player board. Yeah. It's a lot easier. Okay. All right. Um... I'm just gonna blood. I'm just gonna go ahead and swing at swing my axe. Which okay. one is which? Which is the one that's marked? I'm trying to figure out if I want to kill that. Uh, I'm just gonna swing with my axe. Let's do it. Let's do it. That is a f 18, which is enough. I need, you need an 18 to hit me. I hit you. Yeah, dang it. How much is it? Two damage. Hmm, that's no good. <laughs> Not doing so well here. Oh, he's starting Simon's to limp, got man. a game in the works. Is starting to limp, and we're not talking about. Is that uh, it? Is it? You done? Uh, I can take a bow. I don't. Game. There's no yes, action. Zombies. I don't want to move away or. Tell me what that's about. Um, okay, so the goblin will do another point of damage to your what is it? Purple character. Yep. Yeah. Okay, and then, yep. So because no, actually, uh, Jared is the active player. Jared gets to decide where he responds. Really? That's yep. why. Why do you want to give me XP? Will it give you XP? Okay. Hey, Val, 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 thanks right? for dropping in. Welcome to time. the Gumbo oh, yeah. Pot. We are playing yeah. Onslaught, oh, Dungeons and Dragons. This is. That sucks. Give us. That's not, we're playing Onslaught. We're playing Onslaught. Oh, I thought you were okay. shaking your head. No, we're not playing. No, we're I'm playing shaking my head because <laughs> they're, they're, they're making um, up their own rules yeah, now. Yeah. 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 Yeah, this is D&D &D Onslaught uh, releasing uh, early in 2023 from WizKids. It's going to do. Either a two two or a, eventually, I think, four-player mm -hmm. skirmish. Okay, I'm going to hit you, mm -hmm. though. Oh, sweet. Even though... If, even though it says, uh, if it, an adjacent enemy moves... Oh, it's no longer adjacent. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah, I can move around you. Ah. Look at you. Why are you doing that? He can dance, dance around you like a fire. He's, like a a He's the lightning dancer. Fire. I why, keep trying why to like you do that? remix Tiny Let's Dancer to be Lightning Dancer, but it's not like <laughs> it that's BJ's job. The charge is not a bonus action, though. Dang it. No, it's it is the standard, I believe. Yeah, it's standard. Oh, but I could. But what, you're, what your yeah. charge allows you to do is allows you to take a move action and then take an attack action. Yeah. So If you're not near the, the enemy, right? Does it say that? What's it it says move up to your movement, then make an attack. Yeah. So you could have used it right then. I don't know if it gives you any other sort of bonus. Oh, I see what you're saying. I could, let's see, I could, one, two, three, four. It's a standard action. I don't know if it helps you. And then take a bonus action as an attack? I don't, I don't know. I can't read it. No, that's, those are standards also. What Steve, that sounds that? really cool. Move Steve up says, to your move, then make an attack as the standard action. I don't understand why that's... So it's basically it's a standard action that rolls a, a move into it. Oh, you gotta oh so you can move again. again. Uh, yeah. You can okay. move again okay. after that. So you in this move, instance, you can move and then charge. Yeah. Which but is what he I'm... doesn't need the movement. No. Yeah. All right. So do well, you, except yeah. Do you, you want to move first? Time. Who you, you want to move? Going after this. Nope, that's not. That is you. Oh, oh. Sorry. going after this. You going after that guy? Perfect. With what? With the uh, long sword. Long sword. Not using that flame tongue anymore. Uh, you kind of need to, even though you keep rolling ones on it, it actually hurts more. It is a pl it is three damage if I can do it. All right, I'll use the flame th flame tongue. Sure thing, Steve. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited. To I don't use the flame tongue anymore. It's the worst <laughs> weapon ever. <laughs> what did you do? Yeah, like a nine. Four to five. Four to five. I'm assuming his AC is higher than ten. It's thirteen. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You so have you have a uh, bonus action left. You got anything you want to do? <laughs> I can uh, move the target adjacent good. to you, moving as many. He's already. Let's see. Oh, and this goes down to a two. All right. So if you're done, then it's uh, move. number two. 
He's number two as well. If I move him here, Gravel Shanks can just tag. Uh, That's tag me. Up. Why are you moving me? Because it says I can move an enemy. But he has to adjacent to you. It's a taunt. You're taunting me to come to I fight. Know. So if I did that, right? Oh, okay, I get what you're saying. Gravel Shanks can, uh, can tag him. Well, Does it move in any Why direction? Why would Gravel Shanks be able to hit him? Because he's, he's, he's got a double shot range weapon. Oh, you just want him to be in width and range. He wants to be in line yeah. of sight. The problem yeah. is that he's in line that's more than three spaces away. Yeah, one, two, three. Oh, that's true. Mm. I, why Ooh. can't you hit me right now? I'm so confused. Can I can I hit him from there? Yeah, the there's nothing thing? in your way. Okay. I can't see. Yeah, there's, there's nothing yeah, in there's the nothing way. The chair's not. Yeah, not. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Fumble Spanks has not impressed me. I, I agree with you that. All right, let's All go. All right. So what are you doing? Uh, Grapple Shanks is going to try a double shot. Okay, so are you using the double shot first or are you using the standard action first? That is the standard action. That is no. most Yeah. Double shot is the bonus action. Well, double shot is the bonus action. Double shot is after I attack. I'm going to do the attack first. It just makes you attack again. So you're doing a standard mm -hmm. attack. Yep. Okay. okay. It gives you a free another attack. Okay, you definitely hit. 15 plus. What's the damage? Two? Two. Okay. So that was a, that was a 20. Yeah, yeah. So that was a hit. Yeah. And then I will attack again with a double shot. Oh, oh the, so the tide is that a is hit? Turning. Yeah, it's a hit. Yes. I'm up to four now. How much damage is that? Uh, two. Who are you hitting? The, this one. the red tail. Okay. You're a purple guy. He marked the other guy, but he's hitting the guy he hasn't marked because okay, he likes gonna, doing less damage. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and do the damage. I'm gonna do the no, same. No, the mark applies to him too. I'm gonna do the same damage. Oh back no! To him. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Double shot espresso. <laughs> oh, that's not very smart. I'm going to do the same damage back to you, so you're going to take two damage. That's okay, good. perfect. That's, that's what good. I was hoping for. BJ is so horrible at this. Don't you like skirmish games? <laughs> How are you so bad at this? I don't His know. rolls are really bad. <laughs> he is marked. That should not be just me. That's anybody. He's marked. You're, you're not marked by you. Yeah, he's oh. marked. Not he, He's marked. Not this guy. 16. So you're shooting the same guy? Yeah. Okay. Two damage? Get Two damage. XP. Yeah. Okay. Don't fight right. your XP, BJ. So he just did oh, yeah. four damage when he could have done six, but that's the dice's fault. That is the dice's Clearly. fault. Um, hey. Oh, right, so what happened what here? I got some kind of diamond? You, okay, so you leveled up. Okay. So you now get to look at your level up cards and pick one, and he now has it for the rest of the scenario. Okay, okay. got it. So now, if your level up card has an X on it, that means it's consumable, and when you use it, you no longer have it. Okay. Are you done? Yep. Okay, great. So, so what is your new ability? Because I'm curious. Giant killer. Okay. After an adjacent Ooh, enemy misses strong... you with an attack, you may make a attack against it. Ah, okay. All right. So I'm going to activate um, cloth potion so I can heal three health. Yep. That's why. Another reason why BJ shouldn't be attacking that character. Mm. But you know, no, no, no. strategy he's, he's goes out the window. Strategy. Now the potion's yeah. out. He can't. Wait, what did you hit the second time? <laughs> two and two. Two and two. No, what you? How much damage did you do on the second? What two. was your attack? Like, what did you mean? 16. Okay, you didn't actually hit that one. I had 17 defense. Oh. Dum, dum, dum. Mm. So, I should be I didn't get this thing. I should be at 8 then. Okay, great. I feel like, I feel like you're just cheating in this one. Yeah, wow, man. Really late right. there. What are you, you talking about? You, you threw a whistle just in the turn. fourth quarter when the, you said the uh, flag uh, was uh, in the uh, second uh, quarter. Uh, okay. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm going to... Um, Win the game. I'm going to. I can if once because uh, this is the second person I've marked. I marked the goblin the first. Shoot time. this guy. You, he can. No, change. I'm going to do an eldritch blast on this guy. He so. can change the mark whenever he wants. It's just another bonus action. Uh, 17. Is that, what's his AC? No, I've got an X on it. Once okay. you once you give it up, it's got an X on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Two okay. damage to that guy. Two damage. Two damage to that guy. So he's done. So that'll go down one. That'll go down one. Okay. And then I activate my last guy here. And I will just go ahead and uh, swing at this guy right here. That poor lightning dancer is taking so much abuse. <laughs> <laughs> what is the AC on your light? On your light 18. Piece? 18 now? Yeah. Pretty good. And I'm You hit me last time, so. I rolled a 13. All right. So you missed? Yeah. Okay, so monsters will go. Um, the goblin over there enjoys shooting at uh, you, Jared. So yeah, it's okay. he'll keep just doing that. Yeah, I'm alright with that. And um, two through five. Yeah, he'll just uh, take a pot shot at that little goblin guy over there that he can see as well and do a point of damage. Yeah, that's so that's you, Beach. Okay. Which one? 
Here, Green guy. Chance. Green guy takes a point of damage. Oh, down to four. I'm shocked. <laughs> Not doing well. All right, number one. That's one. That's right. Okay. I don't even know uh, what round we're on, honestly. I haven't been keeping track. Uh, it's just so, it's so entertaining to watch. BJ. I'm hitting this uh, guy right here. It's round six? <laughs> it's All round right. Six. So this is the last round. After this, we go to victory points. Unless you're able to kill both of those guys. Yeah, I think he'll end up winning. Yeah. Uh, all right. Look at that. Slow and steady, BJ. Slow okay. and steady. I hit you for... I get picked on the whole time, and I'm, I'm still in it to the very end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two more damage to this guy. The thing is, I'm mixing him up with all these uh-huh. counterintuitive uh-huh. strategies. Uh-huh. When really, the right. box two more damage down to this guy. and backup's oh. arriving. Oh, what's that? Two more damage to this guy. He's got one hit point. He's going to survive. Maybe. Like There's geez. another guy for him to activate over there. I go next, though. Do you? And yeah, go. Yeah. Yeah, he gets to go twice in a row. Uh, let's, see. <clears throat> let's see. I think I'm going to hit the marked man. Dum, dum. Da, da, dum, 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 dum. Oh, my 12? gosh. Plus five, 17. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hit. Okay. Oh, that's a seven, not a one. I thought you rolled another three one. Damage. Three damage. Or two damage. Two damage. But his burning hands will go down. Come. Okay, Luke gets. Reduces cooldowns when he takes damage. But it doesn't matter, so last round anyway. So. Alright, so that was my standard action, right? Yes, an okay. attack is always a standard action. Yeah, just make it Unless sure. you have a special ability. Okay. Well, like, so his goblin guy had a special ability where he can take the bonus action to take a standard action. All right, so I okay. moved him over here now? Mm-hmm. Okay. And why, why, why oh, why no, I couldn't have done Why'd that. Why'd you move that? So, yeah, I couldn't know. have done that. Bradley. I mean, you could move. Melissa well, Sire no, wants to wait know, for the do your stats turn. change so when you, you get You haven't damage, moved yet, like so you can just click. use a move action to no, move. No, I yes. wanted to move him so <laughs> closer to Grapple Shanks. Your oh, damage, yeah. but the, I forgot. I your health total affects both your armor and your speed. When Who's going? Your, your guy? health okay. goes down. Different characters react differently to taking damage. Okay. Some characters, their AC goes up. Yeah, Some yeah. characters, their speed goes down. It just kind of. No, it'll be range two to six. Okay. That, that's okay. Good. I don't play a lot what? of D and D is esque thing games, but that seems really cool. Plus five. Yeah. That's three damage. Two damage. Plus he's marked is the isn't mark. He? Oh, he's marked. Yeah, yeah, two damage. Okay. My turn. Uh, can I grab this as a bonus? No, because you are not adjacent. Okay. Dang it. Jason C does not count diagonal. Well, I couldn't have shot him from here, though, right? Because of my guy? That's Jared's. Right? Huh? Both yes, of those did have. You couldn't have shot him from where you ended up. Oh, I have him backwards. Yeah. So I got to be here. I have to attack him here. I was, tr- I was trying to be one space away from him. Okay. For, yes. the, for the range weapon. Yes. And then I'm going to take this. Okay. Okay. So that is uh, a potion of fire breath because it's the only thing left. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um,. One time use. Uh, this Did you answer Melissa's question? Yes. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. Yeah. I'm so not play that's a game. potion of fire, bro. And I can use it now. No, that would be a standard action. Okay. Well, it should say on there what yeah, the action is. Yeah, it's a standard is. action. Okay. So. All right, Jared, you're up. Yeah. Bradley, are there no, tokens like no, you pick four per game, and there's I'll like more than that? Just swing at this guy. So for the preview yeah. event, it's just those four. Okay. Cool. Cool. How's it look, Steve, on the table, man? The board's actually Nine. bigger. Critical one when it comes Uh-oh. out. Yeah, that's it. That's a critical hit? No, I uh, failed. Oh, I had a one. Oh, oh you got a one. You failed. Dang. Okay. That was like a 16 so, too. Not quite over yet. Uh, your your purple guy is just going to take one more arrow in the back, just for uh, fun. Yeah. And gra- your grapple shanks will take one more arrow. DJ? Did you, did you yeah, survive, but when DJ? He, Steve, when he was here, because I, I mixed up the two characters. When they're next to him, he can't. He's got to be two spaces away, unfortunately. Hey, what's up? Hey, it's Carlos. Hey. You know what's weird? Carlos. Is he adjacent when he goes right here? No, because... So he should have taken further attack of opportunities. Because he kept moving Carlos around. Got a nice sticker, enjoy my own. Uh, Which would make him thing. lose adjacency, and he has attack of opportunity. I don't, I don't know what you're saying. When he does this, uh-huh. he loses adjacency, right? But he, he ends adjacent. It just says, after an enemy moves... After his, he moves. Okay. The end of his hey, move. Wayne. Okay, I get what you're saying. What's up, Wayne? It's the way it works in D&D as well. Yeah, so yeah, this is Dungeons & Dragons okay. Onslaught. It's uh, from the same designer, one of the same designers as, uh, as Adventure Tactics. It's from WizKids, and Bradley, it is not out yet, right? We yeah. have Carlos and uh, Wayne checking it out. It is. I believe you can pre-order it. 
on on WizKids uh, website at this point. But you, you have that thing which shows all the different miniatures. It's that thing right it's there. This one here? Yeah. It's the very back page. So you're gonna get all, oh, all yeah. these miniatures. It's in a there. giant dragon. Big yeah. giant dragon. I like it. Yeah. I like it. I don't know all these. Uh, well, a gnoll, of course, and a troll, and an Eden. Yep, a lot of the standard D and D stuff. And they'll be releasing um, additional packs, additional faction packs, additional monster packs. I believe they said they're going to try to do like one a quarter at minimum. Wow. So about four a year. And the first ones to come out are going to be like the Emerald Enclave, the other factions, so that you can play with other factions and not just those. Okay, so that was the end of six rounds, which is technically the end of this preview kit. Uh, and amazingly, everybody's still alive. We're all still alive. Did the one point of damage kill uh, Gravel Shanks, by the way? No. Mm -hmm. no, no. No. Okay. So nobody died. I'm shocked. Is that really yeah, good Wayne, play? Is, like, what? did BJ do so good that he didn't die? Or I, was, I, I, I'm <laughs> amazed, honestly. Did this well, well he has impressive. like 14 health. He only did two <laughs> points of damage. You can only time once per round. To be fair. I literally sure. have to hit him with two people. Every single round to kill him. Right. BJ, I did not realize. He did kill an that's, NPC, that's though. Kill. So BJ did kill someone. So yeah. we're going to go into victory points in a second. Before, yeah. before we get into that, I do want to mention that they are planning to do... Uh, we both did so poorly that no one died. <laughs> they no, are, we killed an NPC. We did. They are planning to do organized play for this, which is really interesting. So, like, uh, you can, tell me what organized play is. So organized play is competition. basically competition play. You can go to your local store. They'll provide oh. like tournament kits to local stores where you okay. can get like special figures, special cards, promo cards. <laughs> well, that's the Melissa wants dead. dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so yeah, Carlos, it's got that. Comp Carlos likes to play a lot of uh, games where you're actually having competition at the okay. game store. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, now we go to victory points. Uh huh. Um, I don't think I got any victory points. I, I think I mentioned this earlier, but I, I'm fairly certain Jared wasn't paying attention. <laughs> so, defeat a goblin guard. Who did that? I did. Yeah. Well, I just <laughs> wanted to defeat him. If I kill him, I win. You do. You win. But I didn't so, really like BJ that. got one victory point. For 14 defeating health, a goblin guard. Six Good. rounds. You literally have to hit him. <laughs> Every single round I for did, six rounds I ran in order to kill my, him. I ran up with my tank in the middle of I the I hit you plane. every single turn. <laughs> From the time you got here, I hit you every single turn, and you still have you still have health left. It's true. It's true. I, think I did miss twice. Yeah. You missed at least once. But okay. With two people? <laughs> two I'm literally swinging with two people two every single turn. Right. I am. I'm like, this is ridiculous. 14 health. critical fails. That's ridiculous. BJ's defeated enemy character. Just dodgy. Right? Nobody defeated Nobody an enemy that, character. Yeah. Uh, friend of the character defeated by a goblin. Yep. Didn't happen. Uh, Treasure chest. Who has the flame tongue equipped? Yeah. Oh my oh, you god. Say that. Three <laughs> points if you have it at the end of the round and you did not defeat him. Yeah, Steve. If you Steve had gotten, said you could have picked it up. finished with the flame tongue. Oh yeah, I know. He did say it was I literally <laughs> swung at your guy for five rounds and cannot do enough damage to kill I you. Did five three, that's three points. Um, I even boosted this guy's damage with six damage. Well, and it, it sounds like Jared do actually damage. played way worse than BJ is what we're Carlos, discovering. Carlos, I literally, it was I like, I just know. literally just, just walked him into the trap. Uh -huh. I mean, Jared had no clue. Such a BJ just strategy. Walking him into the clutch. Yeah, BJ just BJ get strategy. beat on for the entire yeah, game yeah. and still win. I'm doing I so much I was down. I was on the side. Like my I didn't miss the whole time. You literally sat there and missed the whole fucking time. No, I'm going the whole spider. time. You missed the whole time. You're like, well, I have 14 health, so I'm unkillable. Yeah. So the game. Come on, so Steve. Down goes Frazier. Roll gooder. <laughs> yeah, roll gooder, man. That's what it BJ is. BJ did finish with the flame tongue because uh, there's really only two ways to lose it: either your character's incapacitated and you drop it, or you use it to kill a goblin and he never attacked the goblin. So uh, BJ does win four to zero. You know what this reminds me of, Jay? When I was playing D and D back in you know uh -huh. high school, college, this was always the part that got everybody excited. The you know getting the characters out and doing the melee, yeah, rolling yeah, the yeah, dice. Yeah, yeah. Now I didn't play with the, the two D twenties. Is that something newer? Yeah. So that's two D twenty in in fifth edition means that you have advantage. Okay. Um, it makes it more likely that you're going to hit. Now in this, there's the slight twist that like ones are really bad in this. In D and D, if you if you have advantage and you roll a one, it's it doesn't matter, and you just ignore it. It feels thematic though. I'm running up by the uh, the big right. chair and I trip on something, you know, when I try to get to my. But the the purpose of the D20s is essentially it's supposed to make it more likely for you to hit, and that's kind of what they want. They want more combat. They want more people getting hit. So that that was kind of the point of it. Um, it it just kind of it turned out the way it did. 
All right, so that is Wiz Kids. <laughs> Melissa said someone needs to call the ambulance for Jared. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Melissa.